And that's unique, that you can view from the finish line and from the start line and from above. So I think I'd put my running shoes on and try to hit them all. Start thinking about your spot now. The Big Ten Women's Rowing Championships are coming to Wisconsin. The Badgers will host the 2019 Regatta at Devils Lake State Park. It'll be a great opportunity to have a super experience both on the water for the competitors and off the water for the spectators as it's really the only 360 degree viewing opportunity venue that I've ever been to. Devils Lake State Park history of rowing. Um, some of the first races were held in 1877 at Devil's Lake State Park and then the early 1900s. So we've got a kind of a long history of rowing at, at the park and so we're just really excited about the opportunity to showcase Devil's Lake State Park. Hey everyone and welcome to the Press Pass. It is beautiful rowing weather right now here in Madison and with the weather and the lake I could make all sorts of puns but I'm gonna spare everyone and just step out of the way and let you enjoy the view and let you know that the rowing coaches are psyched about their teams coming down the stretch. What these guys are able to do besides be faster than we've ever been, they're not afraid to challenge each other to get better. You know, we want to break into that top six. That's, that's what we want. We want to be on the podium in, in, at, at Big Tens. And in order to do that, we're going to have to keep getting faster. And that's what these guys are really working to do. Something that we've really talked about these last couple years is just being able to be within yourselves and not focus necessarily outside the boat too much. Um, they're extreme racers, they're amazing racers, and sometimes that can get in their way. And so right now, from race to race, it's about taking those elements and seeing what parts you need to really fine tune. And I think this weekend really allowed us to do that. I would say the current group, especially in the first day, they found a new toy and that toy is to row hard for 2,000 meters no matter what, even when it doesn't, quote, feel good. And that's an exciting thing when you realize just that one thing alone makes you competitive, even if you don't win every race. Not everybody can do that, and not each individual can do that, but finally we have a group that will do it. Coach Burson and the golf team are also soaking in this weather as they are getting in some good practice before heading to the Big Ten Championships at Baltimore Country Club in Maryland. Earlier this year, Freshman Griffin Barella won a tournament in the snow. And all season, this team's got great performances from its young players. We have depth like we haven't had since I've been here. Four of them are freshmen and sophomores that, that have played every week pretty much. So no, we're, we're very excited. I mean, we, we would like to have a really good weekend and then see where that leaves us. We're on the bubble right now, um, which never fun to be on the bubble, but I don't think the program has been on the bubble for a long time. So uh, that's a positive step. So hope. Hope to get off the bubble Sunday night. And finally, now it's time for our video of the week, and it comes from the Brian Clay Invitational and the track team as Trent Needis cleared 7-2 on the high jump this past weekend. That's a new PR for Needis, and just to put that into perspective, that means he would have easily cleared Buckstar Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's only 6'11". That's the press pass for Wisconsin Athletics. I'm Brandon Spiegel.